What's up, everybody? It's Brie here at Vinyasa Wave. I hope y'all have been doing amazing so far. I'm excited to wave with y'all today. If it is your first time here, welcome. If you have been here before and keep coming back, thank you, thank you so much. Let's get wavy today. Actually, today is going to be a stretchy wave today, so we are just gonna stretch. It's not gonna be so much of a flow. I'm probably gonna be posting a few more of these because these have been received very well. Um, and I do get a lot of requests for just stretching and not so much yoga. So that's what today is gonna be. So we're just gonna stretch. And today you will need either two to three blocks. If you do not have blocks, don't worry. Grab a bunch of towels, blankets, whatever you have to literally prop yourself up. If you want chairs, you can use chairs. Um, you can use books, pillows, literally whatever you have in your house. Just grab it because you'll just need it just to elevate yourself in certain spaces. It doesn't necessarily have to be a block. All right. So we are actually going to start standing and then we'll go from there. Um, it's, I'm going to try to keep it around 30 minutes, but we'll see how it goes once we start flowing. All right. So go ahead and um, find whatever you're going to use for the practice. I'll meet you at the top of your mat standing. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So we are starting at the top of our mat. You can just put your blocks or whatever you're using at the front of your mat right now. We are not going to use them for now. Just this first part, we will use them throughout the whole practice. So keep them close. So get to the top of your mat, stand nice and tall mountain. So palms face up, nice neutral spine. And we're just going to do a, just a few breaths just to arrive on this mat before we just jump in and start moving right away. I, I still want you to find that connection with your breath and move with the breath as we go along, okay? So close the eyes if you feel comfortable. If not, just shift the gaze down. Just take a couple breaths here, settling the body, getting rid of that buzz in the body from the day. Make a commitment to being present with just your breath, body, and mind here on this mat. Good, maybe two big deep breaths to yourself. Make sure you're super present on this mat. Good, one more big breath. Good, go ahead and open your eyes if they were closed. If your gaze was down, go ahead and shift your gaze up. And we're gonna move through the whole spine, but really slow. We're gonna kind of articulate every vertebrae if we can. So starting with the head, you're gonna do chin to chest and then roll the body all the way down. Seeing if you can keep your body close, the top part of your body close to your bottom part of your body. Good, then when you make it all the way down, go the reverse. So slight bend in the knees, start rolling with the base of the spine and then your head's the last thing to come up. Work your way all the way up. Good. And then on the exhale, go back down, chin to chest first. Roll the body down, keep it nice and tucked in. Good, reverse it. Roll it back up. Good, once you make it to standing, arms come out. I'll turn this way just so you can see. We're gonna turn one hand up and the other one's gonna roll in and they're gonna shift to one side. Then when you go to the other side, it switches. So then the other one turns up, the other one turns in. So if we're going to the right, right arm turns up, left arm turns in, take a breath in. On the exhale, shift to the right. Good, inhale, come back through center, start turning the hands, go over to the left. Good, and then just start moving with your breath. Find some movement in that body, in that spine. Find a connection to the breath. Good, try to keep the hips stable. You really just only want your arms and maybe the top part of your chest moving. Good, two more. Beautiful, we'll bring it back through the center. Arms come down by the side. Take a big breath in. Find some length. And then on the exhale, we're gonna to start to forward fold. So hips go back. 
lower the belly down. Remember, we want to be mindful of that spine and that rounding so that way we're getting into the back of the legs. So if you're going down and you notice that you're starting to tuck the butt or the shoulders are coming forward, the back is rounded, maybe come up a little bit, maybe hands to the thighs, or even if you're close to a wall, practice sticking the butt out. You wanna drop the belly, butt goes back, lower down. If you don't have a wall nearby, just use the hands. Good, so hands to the thighs, drop the belly, butt goes back, pull the shoulders back, heart comes forward. Lower the chest down. Don't worry about going down to the feet. Just be mindful of that back. There will always be some little rounding in the, in the spine just because that's your basic anatomy. But we don't want this. We don't want the shoulders up in the ears. We don't want the butt tucked. Stick it back. Good, you got two more breaths. Good, then lift up, nice and slow. Take a breath here. And when you're ready, we'll go back down. So hips go back, lower the chest. Maybe we use a block here if we wanna to try to get a little bit lower. Keeping that chest forward, shoulders are pulling back. Good, one more breath. Beautiful, lift up. Take whatever you're using for your blocks. If you don't have blocks, again, use pillows, blankets, towels, books, whatever you have around the house. And we're gonna step our toes on top of the blocks, or I'm just gonna say blocks, but if you're using something else, you know what I mean. <laughs> so I have basically from the ball of my foot all the way up on top of my block. So probably a quarter of my foot is on the block. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do a forward fold. But, but be mindful, you don't wanna lean backwards, you really wanna lean forward so you feel the spiciness in the back of your legs, okay? So take a breath in. On the exhale, lean forward. You may not be able to get as deep as you did before, so if you have a wall nearby, maybe hands to the thighs helps support you. Just keep leaning forward. Big deep breath in. Breath out. Good, keep breathing. You got one more breath. Good, awesome job. Bring it all the way up. We'll step off the blocks, shake the legs out. That was a spicy one. And we'll make our way all the way down to the floor. Take your two blocks, place it at the top of your mat, so the other top, because we're gonna lay backwards. You want the blocks to hit you kind of like in between your shoulder blades, okay? So move all the way back. Let your shoulders come over the blocks. And we're just gonna rest here. Literally let your body melt around the blocks. You can keep your legs bent or straight, whatever you need, but you got two breaths here. Good, go ahead and lift the head up. Hands come behind the head to help support it. Good, if your legs were straight, we're gonna bend the knees in, so feet flat, take a breath in. On the exhale, let both knees drop over to the right side. They may not be able to touch the floor and that's totally fine, it's because our back is elevated. Just let them drop over to the side, arms come out, and then go back around the mat. Good, big breath in, breath out. Good, on the inhale, lift the head again, help support it with the hands, bring the legs through the center and then over to the left side. Good, arms out to the side and then melt around the blocks again. Good, inhale, come through center. We're gonna lift the head just enough so you can move the blocks out to the side. And we'll take one of those blocks and place it at our low back, kind of where your, the top of your butt meets your low back, and you're gonna do it long ways. 
Good, and then let your left leg go long. Bring that right knee into the chest, give it a good squeeze. Good, keep that left heel on the ground as you pull your right knee closer to the body. Good, extend the leg up to the sky. Gently find anywhere along the back of the leg and then just start to point and flex the toes. Don't pull the leg towards the face yet. Just wake up the ankle, maybe roll the ankle out. And then switch directions. Good, let's find stillness. And then gently pull the leg towards the face. Just a gentle pull, it's still the beginning of practice. But in these spicy shapes, you really, really wanna do big, deep breaths. Just relax. Release the tension. Your leg will probably shake. It might cramp up a little bit and that's okay. Just listen to your body. Good, release. Bring that knee back into the chest. Give it one more good squeeze. Good, and release. Let it go long. Left knee comes into the chest. Squeeze it towards the body. Right heel stays on the ground. Good, extend it up to the sky, find anywhere along the back of the leg, and then just start to find movement in that ankle first. Maybe roll the ankle out. Good, find stillness, and gently pull towards the face. Gentle pull. Beautiful, release, bring that knee back into the chest. Big, deep breath. Beautiful, release. Remove that block from the side. Good, and then bring the knees into the chest. Take your hands underneath the knees. Just a gentle rock until we make it to a seated position. Good, maybe cross the legs. Something that's comfortable. On the inhale, lift up, arms go all the way up. Left arm comes down, right arm reaches over to the left side. And what you're gonna focus on is bringing this right shoulder back. It may not actually go back, but just act, like mindfully pull it back so that way you can look up. And both butt cheeks are staying down on the ground. Good, one more good breath. Good, inhale, come back through center. Right arm drops down, left arm reaches over. Both butt cheeks on the ground. Left arm is pulling back so we can look up. Good, bring it back. Take your block. You're gonna keep whatever leg you have bent, so one of them is bent, and then we're gonna put the other one right on top of the block. I don't know if you can see that. So if you were sitting like this, the one that's closest to you, leave it where it is, and then take your block. You can do one or two blocks, depending on how spicy you wanna get, and then you'll put the other one right on top. And then from there, sit nice and tall. Make sure we're up on both butt bones first. We're not sitting down here. Pull the heart through, sitting nice and tall. From there, lower down towards your foot that's on the block. Be mindful of the shoulders. We're pulling them back. Good. You don't wanna be rounding here where you're shrugging the shoulders into the ears and you got a nice rounded spine. Pull that heart forward. That's your goal. Two big breaths here. Good, release, we'll switch sides. So whatever leg you had on top, bring it close to you now. And the other one's gonna come on top. Good, sit nice and tall, big breath in. 
And then on the exhale, lean forward. Good, two breaths here. Good, one more breath. Beautiful, lift up. We're gonna send both legs out in front of us and then take your blocks, place them underneath the knees, toes come up, heels down. You're gonna grab underneath your knees and pull your belly down. So you're gonna shift the belly forward, um, shoulders are pulling back, belly comes down, lower down towards the thighs. Keep pulling those toes towards the face. Big deep breath in, breath out. Good, two more breaths. Good, lift the chest, remove the blocks. Legs go long, maybe point the toes. Make sure we're up on both butt bones so we're sitting nice and tall. On the inhale, arms reach up. And then exhale, we're gonna lean forward towards the toes. Don't worry about touching the toes. Your goal is to pull that heart forward, tilt the belly down towards the thighs, and go down from there. Good, be mindful of the shoulders. We, again, we don't want them rounding here, no rounding of the back. We don't wanna be sitting back onto our low back. Pull that heart forward. Good. Two more breaths. Beautiful. Walk the chest back up. You're going to take one of your blocks. You can do one or two, whatever you need. And then we're going to sit right on top of it and let your legs go long. So we're doing the same thing, the forward fold that we've kind of been doing, but we're now hitting it from a different angle. So this one might be a little bit easier to get the belly down as opposed to sitting down on the floor. It might even be easier if you, if you make it taller. If you struggle with trying to get that belly down and the shoulders back, I'd maybe make it even a little bit taller. So maybe you can get it at a different angle. So same thing, on the inhale, lift up. And then exhale, lean forward. Tilt that belly down, shoulders pull back, heart comes forward. Don't worry about touching the, sh the toes. Good, two big breaths. Good, walk your chest back up. Beautiful. We're gonna come around to our table. Take the blocks out to the side. You don't need them just in this very moment, you don't need them. We're just gonna do some cat cow. So knees underneath hips, hands underneath shoulders. On the inhale, drop the belly, look forward. Good, on the exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Good, inhale, drop the belly, pull it forward. Good, exhale, round. Last one, inhale, drop the belly. Good, exhale, round. Good, inhale, bring it to a neutral spine. Good, we're gonna send the left leg out long and then swing it out to the left side. Good, you're gonna take one or two blocks, whatever you're using, again, and place your left foot on the blocks. If you've never done it with an elevated foot, I'd probably keep it lower um, on the lower side as opposed to getting it higher. Once you've found your shape, left arm goes all the way up on the inhale. Keep opening that heart. Good, and then on the exhale, we're gonna thread it behind that right arm, let the shoulder meet the floor. If the floor is too far away, 
This time, now that it's elevated, I would use a block or something to elevate or to support your head. Good, two breaths here. Good, bring it back, bring that left hand back. On the inhale, lift up, arms reach up. Good, and then we're gonna adjust the blocks a little bit. We're gonna turn them long ways facing out or like facing perpendicular to the mat. And then you're gonna put your foot straight on the blocks, kind of move the blocks a little bit closer to the mat than they were. And then just be mindful of the hips. You want them facing forward, shoulders facing forward. Take a breath in. And then on the exhale, we're just gonna lean over to the left side. Hips and shoulders are facing forward. Good, big breath here. And then take your left arm down, right arm comes up. Good, one more breath. Good, bring it back. Slide those blocks out, let your heel come down on the block. Hips again are facing forward, shoulders are facing forward. Arms reach up on the inhale. Good, and then on the exhale, left arm comes down. You can let it slide down that left leg or if you can reach the floor, reach the floor. And then right arm reaches over towards the left side. Be mindful of this butt, we don't want it sticking out. Kind of push the hips forward so that way you find a stretch in the side body. One more breath. Beautiful, bring it back. We're gonna bring everything over to the right side now, set up for the right side. So blocks are parallel to the mat first, so that way we can extend it out when we're in table. Once you found the shape, right arm sweeps up on the inhale, open the heart as much as you can. Good, and then on your exhale, thread it behind that left arm, let the shoulder come down, head meets the floor. Good, take a big breath in, breath out. Good, bring it back. Come back to your table first, and then on the inhale, lift the heart. You're gonna move the blocks in towards your mat just a little bit, and then make them perpendicular. Foot goes right on top. Take a peek at the shoulders, excuse me, <laughs> hips and shoulders. Make sure everything's facing forward first. And then from there, move as one piece over towards the right side. Maybe the right arm comes down, left arm comes up. Good, big breath here. Good, one more breath. Good, bring it back. Good, slide that block out, let the heel come down. On the inhale, lift up, make sure everything's facing forward. And then let that right arm slide down the leg, left arm reaches over. Good, one more breath. Good, bring it back. Tuck everything into your table. Kind of bring the blocks or whatever using back close to the mat. And then we're gonna find our down dog. So hips go all the way up. Kind of bicycle out the feet. Shake the head maybe. Good. Find some movement. Get into the back of the legs, hips. You got one more breath to yourself. Good, then let's find stillness. Beautiful. On the inhale, send that right leg up to the sky, but keep the hips square and then flex the toes on that right foot and push into the hands, get a little deeper into that left leg. 
hold it here. Good, one more breath. Good, we're gonna step that foot all the way towards the top of the mat. Take your block, put it where your back left knee is going to drop down. So you're gonna find a low lunge. Good, so that left knee is on the block and not on the mat and you're here in a lunge. And take a big step forward with this right foot. So see how there's a 90 here? I want you to step forward so there's a diagonal if I looked at you from the side. Good, and then on the inhale, lift the chest up. You can use your blocks, chairs, or walls, whatever you're using, as support to keep that chest up nice and tall. Two breaths here, let the hips sink down. Good, one more breath. Beautiful. We're gonna send the hips back, keep that left knee on that block. Toes come up on the front. Keep the hips square, take a breath in. And then on the exhale, send the butt back, lower the belly down, pull the shoulders back, lower down. Lowering towards that right leg. Toes are still coming up. Again, be mindful of the body. If this is the shape that you're taking right now, I want you to walk the hands back and then start with by pushing the butt back. If this is where you stay, beautiful, stay there. If once we got that down, then maybe just start to lower little by little and notice the spot when you start to come forward and round like this. You got two breaths. Good, inhale, lift the chest up. You're gonna take your blocks, again, whatever you're using. We're just gonna put them on the right side of our leg. Good, keep the hips somewhat square. You wanna keep pulling that left hip forward, right hip back, as we are going over to the side. Keep pulling the toes up. Good, two breaths. Good, bring it back. You're gonna take the block that you, or whatever you have free, bring it to the top of the mat. We're gonna bend back into that right knee. Our left knee is still on the block. We're gonna come down to our forearms. That right knee is still bent. If you need to, you can walk your foot to the edge of the mat to create a little space. Big deep breath here. Good, one more breath. Good, lift the chest up. Good, left hand on the block. We're gonna take our right hand, gently push on that knee, roll that foot to the pinky edge, and then see if we can maybe turn our chest up to the sky. Good, big deep breath in. Breath out. Good, bring it back. And then we'll unwind. We'll make our way back to down dog. So move your blocks and everything out of the way. Make your way to down dog. Hips go up. Good, maybe take a big breath here. Reset the body. Recalibrate. And then on the inhale, left leg goes up. Remember, keep the hips square. Flex that left foot, push into the hands, find some length in the back of that leg. Good, then when you're ready, step it towards the top of the mat. Take a block, let your right knee drop down onto the block. And then we're gonna take a big step forward with that left foot. So if I look at you from the side, you have a nice diagonal. Ah. Good, and then lift the chest up. This is really where you wanna relax into the shape. Use your breath if you feel like you're holding it. Just release, let it go. Breathe in.
Good, two more breaths. Good, start to lift up on that knee, straighten that left leg, toes pull up. And then from here, here we go, hips go back, or excuse me, butt goes back, lower the belly down. Shoulders are somewhat pulling back. Just be mindful of that rounding. Remember, reaching the toes is not the goal. The goal is to feel something in the back of the leg. Good, one more breath. Beautiful, lift the chest up, take whatever you're using. This time we're gonna bring it over to the left side of the mat. Good, be mindful that we're not swinging the hips so much over to one side. You're gonna take this right hip, pull it forward, left hip pulls back, ooh, excuse me, and then lower down from there. Good, bring that chest back. Bring that block towards the top of the mat on the inside of that left foot, bend into the knee. Keep that right knee on that block. And we're gonna come down to the forearms. Again, if you need to move that foot to the outer edge to make space, you definitely can. Two big breaths here. Uh, lift the chest up, bring that right hand down. Roll that left foot to the pinky edge, left hand gently pushes on the knee. Maybe we open the heart to the sky. Be mindful of this right shoulder that we're not sinking into it. Stay strong, open that heart. Good, one more breath. Good, bring it back. Let's make our way back to down dog. Good, hips go all the way up, find your down dog. Take a breath to yourself, reset the body. Maybe shake the legs out if it was a little spicy. Good, then when you're ready, we're gonna step that left foot forward again. And we're just gonna turn it to the right side and then bend into that left knee. So you're kind of in a ninja squat. And then be mindful of the shape here. So if you can't get the, the heels all the way down, just throw a block under there to help support you. You can either, you can also take a block and step up all the way on top of it. That'll get a little bit more spicy here. You can just play around here with this shape, maybe even put two blocks behind you so that way you can sit up nice and tall, put them in front of you, but you wanna be mindful with putting it in front of you because then the knee starts to drop. So lift the chest, right toes pull up. You got two breaths here with whatever you chose to do. Good, one more breath. Good, start to shift over to the other side. So somehow make it over to the right side, drop the butt down, bring your blocks with you. Again, whatever you're choosing, you can throw the block underneath the heel. If we're having a hard time getting the heel down, we can do the blocks behind us to lift the chest up. Whatever you're choosing, you got two breaths, explore. Good, one more breath. Good. Somehow make it to a wide leg forward fold. So wide, legs are wide and then just let your hands come down, let your head go heavy. It's a little bit easier sometimes if you angle your toes in and then heels out. 
And then again, shift forward, shift the weight forward, and then lower down here. You can use the blocks for assistance if you need. You got two breaths. Good, one more breath. Good, we're gonna just walk towards the front of the mat, step both feet together, and then you're gonna take your blocks, a chair, if you have a chair, this might actually work a little bit better um, because if you're using maybe only two blocks, it may be, um, the height will help. So if you have something around the house, I would do that. But we're gonna do a little yogi squat. So toes point out. Try to get your feet as wide as you can, but your whole goal right now is just to sit up tall. Because usually the problem that we have, other than the heels not being able to make it down, is that we're stuck here. So usually we're in a yogi squat like this. So we wanna find some strength and some flexibility in that back. And then maybe it kind of even works like the outer edge of your butt too. So lift up nice and tall, actively pull these knees back. So if they're starting to come in, come bring the arms on the inside, pull the knees open, sit up nice and tall. We're gonna sit here for a little bit. So that way you can explore the body, see what, see what, what you're kind of feeling, because this may be a new shape for you. Good, just keep pulling those knees back, sitting up nice and tall. You got two more breaths. Good. All right, we're gonna get a little spicy with it now. So take your right hand, grab your left knee. You still need to keep actively pulling these legs back. Right hand grabs the left knee, left arm comes up. And we're gonna go over towards the right side. Again, be mindful that our knees aren't trying to come in. Pull them open. Good, switch sides. So left hand grabs the right side, right arm comes up, and then we go over to the left side. Same thing, keep pulling the knees open. Amazing job, bring it back. If you're on a chair, maybe come down to your blocks or pillows or whatever you're using before. If you're on your blocks or whatever you're using, stay there. And we're just gonna straddle the legs. So legs come all the way open. You may need to drop it down a little bit too. is probably a little bit excessive for now. So I would keep one in front because we'll need it. Nice straddle legs. Make sure we're sitting up nice and tall, just like we were practicing. So both butt bones are on your block. Nice tall spine, arms reach up. And then on the exhale, bring that right arm down to the right side, left arm reaches long. Again, be mindful, as always, and I'm always saying the rounding. So if you're going this way and then you start to curl here, I really, really want you to pull it forward and maybe don't go so far. Don't worry about touching your toes. That's not, that's not the goal here. The goal is to start to find some flexibility in that spine. So right arm comes down, left arm comes up. We're sitting nice and tall. Good, inhale, bring it through the center and then all the way over to the left side. Good, inhale, come through center. And then we're gonna go forward. So same concept, roll that belly forward and then bring it down. Be mindful of these knees that they don't start to roll in. We really wanna keep them open and then lower down to a comfortable space. You got two breaths here. Good, bring the chest up. You can move the blocks out of the way. 
bring the feet together. We're just gonna come all the way down to our back. Arms are gonna come out to the side. Good, bring the knees into the chest on the inhale. And then on the exhale, let both knees drop over to the right side. Keep both shoulders on the floor. Big deep breaths here. Good, inhale, come through center. And then on the exhale, drop the knees over to the left side. Again, both shoulders stay on the floor. Two big breaths. Good, inhale, bring the knees back into the center. We're gonna take our hands behind the knees and just a gentle rock to a seated position. You made it, you finished. You did so good at stretching. I know I couldn't see you, but I know you did amazing. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. I'll see you again soon. Bye.